Hi everybody. Um, still in the house because I was back quicker than I uh, expected to be. Um, I'm waiting uh, now to get a phone call from the agents to give us some, um, hopefully a date or some details on the house. So I've been waiting all day. It's ten to three. So um, you know they'll ring when I'm at school fetching Toby, don't you? They did that on Wednesday. They rang me to ask me about something. And it was, I don't know how many miles an hour wind, but basically all I could hear was <sighs> down the phone, <laughs> which was quite fun. What? Sorry? What? Screaming at him down the phone. I had to ring him when I got back from school and say, what? What? Um, yes, and he said then, oh, we'll ring you on Friday. Don't ring me at three o'clock. Anyway, that's not why you're here. Um, my hair is doing my head in, thanks to life and um, I was off Monday, Tuesday with Jack and then Paul had Wednesday to watch him and I don't work Thursday so I had him then and he's gone back to nursery today with his little little spots all sort of scabbing up. Nice isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> so yes he's, he's scabbing nicely and they haven't rang me to say come and fetch him so I assume he's at an acceptable scabby level um, for them to keep but when I, I rang them on Monday to say he was ill, or that he got chicken pox, they said, f um, you know, fine. Um, and then we got a text round to all of the parents get a text saying there is a large number of children. It turns out, I spoke to them today, 22 kids in that room had chicken pox. There's about 35 or something. So some of them had a very quiet, you know. <laughs> Some of them got sort of royal treatment and had about six staff all to themselves because there were no kids. Um, so Jack, they said Jack's one of the first ones back. Um, one of the girls, a girl came back. Uh, they thought she was sort of over them coming out and then more came out. But by the sounds of it, she came back a bit early if more still came. But Anyway, sorry. Nursery and germs and spots. That's my life. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> So I have finished Blooming Flower Cushion and hopefully the light will be a bit better. It's not a very bright day but it's nearly three in the afternoon so it shouldn't be too dark. Um, when do I finish this? I don't know, Tuesday? Yeah, I think so. Yes, Tuesday So I was off with Jack and I started this at like four o'clock Tuesday afternoon and I got it done by nine o'clock at night. Obviously it didn't work all the time when it was something did tea and things like that. But the back, uh, it whips up so quick. I mean, it's a free pattern anyway, but basically this is what you do under here, but you work in both loops on this and just do the big circle. Whereas this, you work in the front loops to do the petals and then you pick up your next row in the back loop. So it's like you're going around twice. Um, and this, is ice yarn, same as the one I did in October or November, I think, uh, for the same person, for um, my sister's sort of mother-in-law, if, if they were married, be mother-in-law. Um, and this is slightly thicker than the first lot of um, ice yarn I used. So the first cushion I made, I think, I did 17 flower, 17 petal rows. Uh, but because this one's a little bit thicker, I only had to do 15, which meant I only had to do 15 and one petal row at the back. So it's very pretty. Tevin helped me pick a button to go on it. So that will be, uh, it was going to be gone yesterday but my sister's not feeling very well so I didn't get to see her. Um, so I hope she's feeling better. Uh, Morgan, hi. <laughs> I hope your mum's feeling better. Um, and I couldn't, what day was it? What day did I decide to do this? Wednesday maybe? Um, yeah, Wednesday, because I filmed a video Wednesday and oh my gosh, I just waffled for I don't know how long. Um, and in that waffly video, I decided that I was going to perhaps start my virus show because I hadn't got the charity bags um, and I couldn't get in the shed to get all the clothes out and stuff. But so I started this project and then the charity bags came and I've got all the clothes out of the shed and 25 kilos of clothes have been collected today and gone off to charity. Um, that's not actually all of them though. I stopped because the, the bag was getting full and it was getting beyond the point where I could get it in the boot of my car. Um, 
and also I, I knew I've got I've got more charity bags coming. They, they were very delayed, so I ordered some more because obviously I need to get stuff gone with the move. Uh, and I ordered two bags initially, and they sent them separately. So I got one on Wednesday. We well, yesterday, Wednesday. Um, yeah, one came Wednesday, and I thought, like, where's the other one? And three have turned up today, so. Um, but basically, I, I waffle. Um, this thing, it's uh, clothes for charity, this website, and you pick your assigned, uh, you pick your charity of, of preference, and they send you a bag out with a barcode. You fill it up, they actually come and collect it from wherever you want. I had mine collected from work today. Um, Parcel Force came and fetched it. At five minutes after the window of collection started, I was gobsmacked. I thought between one and six, I thought they'll turn up at six o'clock when business is shut. But no, turned up five past one, picked it up, so go parcel force. Um, but I read up on it because I could go to charity shops here, but they sell all the stuff, and I don't really want it. Sounds like I don't want it selling, or some of it's not in a saleable condition, and I want it to go to people who need it. Um, I would rather someone have baby grows if they haven't got baby grows or a sleeping bag for the babies than someone buy it at the shop because they don't want to pay shop prices. You know, it's. I found that with the toys I donated last year, it's really hard to just give toys to a charity that will give the toys to kids. They have to be clean, have to be in health and safety, and blah blah blah, and then they have to be sold. They won't give them to children who need them, and I think that's really sad because I'm sure there's kids screaming for for toys, you know, in uh, disadvantaged areas or things like that, you know, or in children's homes or... But you can't, you can't seem to get much help, you know, get find a way to get to them. Um, digressing. So this um, charity website, they pay the charity you've picked £200 per bag of clothing. So, I mean, that's much better than you get per kilo. I saw someone offering on a, a local collection sort of a man in a van would come and collect clothes and stuff and they were giving 50p a kilo and I thought, you know, I'm not someone said to me, why don't you sell them? I'm like no, it's not It's not worth weighing them in sort of thing so the charity got £200 and then these clothes are sent out across well I picked um, the refugee council or refugee something, I can't remember I've got two different charities I picked um, and the clothes are distributed across Eastern Europe and uh, Africa and wherever, you know. And it's a much better use, I think, than popping them down the local charity shop for someone to just get stuff a bit cheaper. Anyway, so I've got another bag to fill. And I might ask around at school if anyone's, you know, if they've got anyone's got clothes they want to, to pop in there. Um, and see how, you know, if I can fill the other ones up. Because it's a good cause and a charity's getting £200 out of the clothes that don't fit the kids anymore so it's it's all good and some babies will get some <laughs> I had to stop looking I couldn't focus on it because it would make me sad you know baby grew that big anyway I did a waffly video the other day now look at me so on Wednesday I when I was filming I decided I'd make uh, a virus shawl out of the boutique unforgettable I bought after Christmas I don't know, when I bought the Starcraft to finish my friend's blanket. So I watched the Woolpedia videos to get me started. And probably right. Shop. So I am, um, oh, a few rows in now. I've got that much left of my first ball. I've got two balls. I don't plan to make it you know, three ball big, really. Um, but it's only for me. So... I like it. I like it very much. The colours are beautiful. I don't know if it'll pick them all up properly, especially as I'm behind it in orange or coral. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with myself. Quite surprised. Started doing it, I thought, oh, I'll be okay. And I thought, I'm never going to remember this. Um, but I have got, because the, the written instructions are a chart, and I've never done charts, and it was a bit like... So I'm glad I had the videos to sort of start me off, take me through it. Um, and now the charts make sense. So you never know, I might actually be able to read charts um, again. Right, I'm going to have to go in a moment because I've waffled. Um, but yeah, so that's what I want to do. I'm making my... Uh, I want to call it the wireless shawl now because that's what she says on the video. Um, so I'm making that. 
I can get in the shed to get wool from that ugly blanket, but that will be on hold for the moment, depending on what the agents say when they ring. If they ring. If they, oh God, if they don't ring, Paul will be like, I'd send them an email at dinner and say, I've not, because they said, you will tell me what they say, won't you? No, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Of course I won't. No. Um, don't send a message at dinner. I've not forgotten they haven't phoned, okay? Chill out. It's like, oh, it's driving me mad. What can you do? We don't want to chase them up because we, we went into it really calm. Yeah, yeah, no rush, no rush. And then we're like, tell us, tell us. But they shouldn't say they were ringing if they're not ready. Anyway, so yes, I don't know when I'll be back. Maybe if I get a you know, burst of speed with that. But that, I'm quite pleased with that for two two nights work. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody's well. I'll try and get this uploaded. It's Friday, so I'll try and get it uploaded before the end of today. Um, have a nice weekend and uh, hopefully I'll speak to you soon uh, or I'll be back with news about the house and stuff. So stay well everybody. Bye.